Hello to today's video about remote toolkit. As you can remember, last time I ran over restart, cross detection and auto saves. But now, today, it's time for remote console. How to get remote console is basically by going to download page and download it as you would normally. The only difference is that instead of opening um, the file, you open UDP client and I need to run my server on and you press RT controller. It's not a um, job thing, so don't put it in your bucket plugins. But if you don't remember your password from and username, just right click your R toolkit and edit. And then here, here, right here, which you can see is the password and username. So you put your username, your password, and you need to delete the previous one. And what you can do is, for example, enable restarts. And it's going to tell you that you and um, on in your CMD command board, it's I'm um, going to say enable restarts. If you put call server, it's going to say um stopping and holding the server, forcing a safe shut down delay. And then it's going to say server is shutting down and then it's going to be held. And now on hold on hold it's going to restart but as you can remember I have XP so you need to press enter like when chunks are loading and when it says 17 recipes I think that's one way to do it. Hey, if you don't want to do that, you can also use your Android. And to do that, you go to instructions and documentation. And you're going to get this page. And if you press here for dot ring this Android. And it says download connect board from the Android market. But I don't have an I Android so I can show it to you. But there is another way for Windows to do it. Another way to um, access your command board. But you can't really access it but to see like manage your server from other computer is to download PUTTY then you have to run it and I have it on my desktop it's going to ask you if you want to run it or not you just press run I'm just going to have that in background because it's nicer and for host name you put um, your server IP or like computer IP depends if you do it on your thing. The port is two five five six one. Don't make it five. And you want to have telnet and you press open. And then you get a command command board which you would see. But it says enter username, you enter your username and password connected to console. Now on here it's going to say it's basically like you would normally have and you can like say hi. It's going to have server said hi. You're gonna have like users then it's going to say users which are managing the server. It will say here and here. So 
it's going to be exactly the same but you can't see the history but um, it works exactly the same you get help you get everything as you would normally and to create it you just press this then you press ok and then on here it's going to say and I'm going to show you that um, and I am in a place uh, I'm here okay and this is my custom map which I'm making by the way I'm going to do it here because it's nicer from one of them so that's not one of the best things for, from that because then you don't know if anyone is trying to um, go to your um, hack into your Minecraft because if you put something then everyone can see your IP but I'm not sure if it's changed because I can't remember but if you want to have to play on this server check out my competition video which is um, uploaded and basically this competition is about making a cost map because I'm making a 24-7 server and yes it costs a lot of money it's 200, $250 dollars per um, per two years and I don't have that much money and I just noticed noticed another difference is that here it says E and then the time so this is it I hope you like know how to manage your server and I think this plugin is the best plugin if you have a multiplayer serve map or if it's 24 7 server so you don't have to change um, and stop the server every now and then bye